Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So in this video, I have an exclusive report for you. That guy on your screen, his name is Omar Edwards. Omar, he's in his 40s and he's a former police constable in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. We are told that Omar, he quit the force last year and is operating a business in Portmore where he is living. Omar is said to be a licensed firearm holder. Now, that female on your screen, her name is Risa Young. Risa is said to be in her 30s and she was a security officer. Risa, she got married in June 2011 and that marriage produced a daughter. That daughter is now 9 years old. I'm not sure if there's any other children. Risa, she lived in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine with other family members to include her mother. We are learning that Risa's marriage broke down some time ago. I'm not sure whether or not she has divorced. Now, sometime last year, Risa, she met and got involved in a relationship with Omar Edwards. Well, let me correct that. Risa's family, they became aware of the relationship with Omar and Risa sometime last year. We are told that Risa, she owned a motor car and from time to time, she and Omar would turn up at her family home. Sometimes Omar, he would drive the car. Some family members I spoke with, they stated that they did not trust Omar one bit. And according to them, he always had this evil look on his face. We are told that one of Risa's sister, she died in March of this year. She got sick and died. Now, funeral plans were in high gear for her to be buried on Sunday, May 21. We are told that Sometime last week, Risa and her mother, they had a fuss when she told her mother that she's not coming to her sister's funeral. She left the home on Thursday morning, May 18, for work, and she told her 9-year-old daughter that she would not be coming back home in the night. She's going to her spouse house at Portmore when she left work to stay. Thursday night, the family didn't hear from Risa. Friday all day and Friday night, same thing. The family, they took it for granted because she left the house upset Thursday morning. Saturday morning, everyone was planning for Risa's sister's dead yard later in the evening and the funeral for the next day. Omar, he turned up Saturday morning at the house in Risa's car. He told her family that Risa had sent him for her nine-year-old daughter now there was no reason for the family not to believe because they knew she was upset when she left the house on thursday risa's daughter was allowed to go with omar and he carried her back to the house saturday evening that same night risa's daughter she told one of her young relatives that when she went over to portmore she did not see her mother she said Omar told her that her mother is in the Spanish town hospital. He told her that she was sick and could not speak. She said Omar told her that the doctor had given Risa bad medication and she was in hospital with drip on her. But the daughter told that relative something else and that sounded strange. She told the relative that she saw her mother's phone in the car persons started thinking then how comes omar said risa sent him for her daughter how come omar told the daughter that her mother could not speak so they were wondering how did risa communicated to him omar are you following me persons were concerned but they were distracted by the funeral the next day so the next day Funeral day, Sunday, May 21. 
Omar, he turned up at the funeral in Risa's car and without Risa. Persons started asking for Risa, but nothing that Omar said made any sense. Relatives of Risa, they started observing Omar and they didn't like his movements at all. It would also appear as if Omar, he had planned on leaving the funeral with Risa's nine-year-old daughter. We are told that Omar also told someone at the funeral that he's planning on going overseas on Monday. That's the day after the funeral. And he wanted the person to drive Risa's car and carry him to the airport. So the funeral service was almost done. And Omar's every move was being watched by some relatives of Risa, who by now had concluded that something not right. The persons, they were planning on calling the police. But when they looked, Omar was walking away with Risa's daughter. Some family members confronted him and asked him, where is Risa? He told them he was going to get a bottle of water for Risa's daughter and come back. A family member told him, no, I have water in my bag. The family member handed a bottle of water to the child and again asked Omar, where is Risa? Omar, he started fumbling and he took out his phone to make a phone call. Now, by now, there was a police jeep passing. A family member stopped the police jeep and told them what was happening. The police, they went to Omar and they asked him, where is Risa? Omar was fumbling. The police officers, they took Omar Edwards into police custody and carried him to the police station. Have you been following me so far? You have? So, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Are you so in tuned that up until now, you're not touch on the love button? <laughs> you're touching now. All right. So, have you subscribed to the channel as yet? You haven't? So, why are you waiting on? What are you waiting on to subscribe to the channel? Yeah, man. Hit on the subscribe button. It no cost you a dime. It no cost you a dollar. It no near mouth. None of your data or nothing like that. The reason why you are subscribing to the channel is that as soon as we drop a new video, you are one of the first persons to be notified. All right? So, tell a friend to tell a friend. Now, at the police station, the police officers questioned Omar. Are you ready for the bombshell? You ready? So, here is what ex-police constable Omar Edwards told the police officers. Listen this. Omar told them that Thursday night, May 18, Risa picked him up after she left work. He said Risa was driving her car, but on reaching a certain spot along the road, she said she was tired and he, Omar, should come and drive. He told the police that Risa stopped the car and came out of the car to come around to the passenger side. He told the police that he did not come out of the car. He said he was in the process of crossing over when he heard a single explosion sounding like a gunshot outside of the car. Omar, he said he saw when Risa fell to the ground and he saw a man running away in the dark. Omar told the police that when he came out of the car, he saw Risa bleeding and he put her in the car and rushed her to the Spanish Town Hospital where she was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Did you hear what I just said? Do you believe what Omar told the police? You see, I'm just giving you the details for now. I'm not going to elaborate as yet because there is a lot more to come. So that's what Omar told the police. The police, they took Omar to the Spanish Town Hospital Marg where he pointed out Risa Young to them. Risa's family was at the police station waiting and owing to the fact that they had just buried a family member. 
The police, they didn't know how to break the news to them. The police told the family, we have things under control. So go home and later on, we'll come to the house and speak to you. The family went home and later in the night, the police went to the family's home and told them the tragic news. Risa was shot and killed and her spouse, Omar Edwards, is in jail as the prime suspect. Now, I know, I know you have a lot of questions and trust me, I'm trying to get all the answers for them for you. And by the way, by the way, let me tell you this from now. I personally have no doubt that it was Omar Edwards who killed Risa. The question is why? That plus more will be coming up. Stay tuned. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica. Criminals, the